the chimney from Crafts Names and Things. So today I'm going to show you how to make your own beautifully scented lotion. Because I don't know about you, you go like to Bath and Body Works and it's like five or six dollars and it's just very expensive when you can make your own for seriously no money at all. And you can customize it with your favorite fragrance. So I'm going to show you just how simple it is to do it. So all you're going to need is just some containers. And then I have just a bottle of spa lotion by Jerome. But it can be any lotion um, that you want. Just make sure that it's not scented. Um, and that's really all that you need to know. This is the pump kind. Um, and it's unscented. It's really good. It has moisturizing property. It has like vitamin E and it's really good. So I like using that one. So that's what I'm going to use this time. And then I have a bottle of my favorite perfume, which is tea rose. I love roses. So um, that's which one that I'm going to be using. But like I said, you can use whatever perfume you want. And the good thing is that this is very um, potent. Like you can really smell the fragrance of the lotion um, when you use a real perfume. So that so this is definitely what I'm going to use, but you can use the spray, the body sprays from Bath and Body Works. You can kind of use whatever you want. And then I also have some washi tape because we're going to cover those containers. And then I have a skewer to mix it together. I did get these containers from Target. They were like a dollar and I just thought that I would use them for something. So um, I'm going to use them for this application. Okay, so let me just open the container here. There we go. Some thick plastic. Okay. And I'm just going to open it. This is so simple. And then you're just going to squirt your lotion into your container if it cooperates with me. <laughs> there we go. Oh my goodness, I got some of my hand. But we'll survive. So I'm just going to squirt it in my container. Let me bring it down so you can see it a little better. So you're just going to fill up your container. I do like to make this kind of in small um, in small portions, but absolutely, I mean, you could take that whole bottle and dump, you know, your favorite fragrance in it. But I really like that sometimes I'll be in the mood for roses and I can have, you know, some rose scented lotion or I can have some other scented lotion. So um, it's just a really great thing to do. So all you're going to do is take your perfume and you're going to put a couple of sprays in it. I usually do about three and then I'll mix it together and then I'll kind of see um, if I can smell the fragrance. So you'll just take your skewer and I'm just going to smell it. Make sure it's okay. I think that it could use a little bit more fragrance. So I'm going to squirt some more in there. And you see, it just takes a little bit of perfume um, to make this. So it's really quite economical, economical and affordable. <laughs> okay, so we're just going to stir that together. Just make sure that it's really mixed very, very good. But as I said, you can like totally change this as your moves go. And, there are, there's such beautiful fragrances out there and just think you can have your own customizable lotion, which is awesome. So that's how it looks. I'll combine. I'm just going to clean it up a little bit, but um, I can smell it. It's very fragrant. It smells so good. And I can just kind of rub it in just like regular lotion. But it's super easy to make. I'm just going to rub some into my skin. Sorry, I have paint all over my hands, but I was painting today. <laughs> so I have messy hands. So now I'm going to grab some washi tape. Um, this is the kind that I got from the dollar store. There's like this, um, this other dollar store. It's not Dollar Tree, but they sell like fabric based um, washi tape. But it's really cool. Like the owner is from China, so he gets a lot of really cool stuff. Like he has great suppliers, so I love going there. There you go. And you're just going to put it around. They have such great stuff, like beads and just really cool stuff. So you're just going to take your washi tape and you're going to put it around the perimeter of the jar, like I'm doing here. Not very well, so I think that I'm probably going to take it off and try to do it a little straighter this time.
So you just want it on there nice and straight. And you could skip this step if you wanted to, but I just wanted to add washi tape and, you know, make it beautiful and feminine because we're girls and we get to have things beautiful. I'm sure men like beautiful things too, but, but we do. So I'm just going to take this felt flower that I made and I'm going to stick it right on top. So I have my glue gun off camera, but I'm just applying a little bit of hot glue to it, just like that. Ready? But it's kind of moving around a little bit, so I think it needs a little bit more washi tape, a little bit more hot glue. But first, I'm just going to cut off that washi tape. So I'll just grab a pair of scissors. And I'll give that a trim and then smooth it out. And my flower is coming up a little bit. <laughs> I didn't apply it very well, apparently. So I'm going to add a little bit more hot glue on there. And I have a beautiful container for my scented lotion that I made myself. So thank you so much for watching. Um, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, and happy scented soap making. If you have any questions, um, please don't hesitate to let me know. And I will see you next time. Please like and share this. If you know someone that would like to see it, please um, let them know. I would really appreciate it. And thumbs up if you want to see more DIYs from me, please. Um, it would be very much appreciated. So um, please enjoy your scented soap. And I'll see you next time. Have a nice day. Bye.